Hello friends, in this tutorial we are going to solve another interesting problem which is find the number which occurs odd number of times in an array. So here is the problem statement. Given an array of positive integer, all numbers occur even number of time except one number which occurs odd number of times. So suppose I have uh, uh, declared an array which has following elements so all the elements occur even number of times except one which is eight which occurs odd number of times so we have to write a code uh, to print that number so so uh, we have multiple approaches and to solve this problem so the simplest approach is to use two for loop uh, in which we take each element and run a loop and count the number of times it occurs in an array if it occurs odd number of times then we print it and break the loop otherwise we continue this process the problem with this approach is uh, is that their time complexity is O n square so we have much uh, better approaches than this uh, uh, let's I show you for demonstrated uh, demonstration purpose what this approach is if I say in uh, equal to 0 and I is less than array dot length I plus plus if I declare a variable int count and initialize it to 0 and in next for loop I start with 0 I start with array dot length and j plus plus so and if I say condition if array i equal to equal to array of j I mean each element we pick first element then we count the number of time it occurs in complete array so this is the logic and we say count plus plus after after this loop if we check if count percentage 2 is not equal to 0 I mean the remainder is not equal to 0 it means it's an odd number so we print it system dot out of print and then we print we print the number and we break the loop so if I run this code see we have an output of 8 but this approach is not uh, good we have many approaches which gives this output and uh, much more efficient than this approach so I have explained this approach just for demonstration purpose so now let's move to another approach what we uh, we create a map map of number and its count so suppose if I say we created a map which has something like this 8 occurs one time 3 occurs two times four occurs four times so on so if we create a map like this then we know which number occurs odd number of times or even number of times so we can do this uh, using hash map so if I say map of we are declare so map is just a key value pair so so if I say my key is integer and my value is of integer type and it's a number count map and here I'm declaring hash map so now we traverse an array so let's say i0 and i less than array dot length i plus plus and if I say if number count 
map dot contains key array of i then number count map dot put so I say key is my number and value is its count so number count map dot get value and s1 so what we are doing here is so I'm I'm creating a map of number and its count number is the key and count is its its value so I'm checking if the number is already exist in a map then I'm getting the previous value of that number I mean the count of that number and adding one to them I, else if the number if we are creating a map of that number first time then we simply put one against its value so so let's explain this so I am traversing an array so suppose the first number is 8 now here we we have declared map and it's empty so if I check so is map contains the number 8 as we keep uh, 8 as its key so this returns false then I mean I am putting 8 first time in a map so I say 8 and I put its value 1 now in uh, next time uh, next value is 3 again I am checking is 3 exist in a map is, is key 3 exist in a map so it returned false then we have 3 1 8 1 so now again I am goes to 6 6 is also not exist so 6 uh, as a key and its value is 1 4 it's also not exist similar process then 5 then 6 now we already have 6 so it returns true so here's the key remains the same 6 and what's the previous value of uh, key 6 it's 1 now we have 1 plus 1 now the new value of key 6 is 2 so in this way we create a number and its count so if I print the map so it will be like this number count map if I print it so see we have following number 2 which occur 2 times 3 which occur 2 times 4 which occur 4 times 5 occur 2 6 occur 2 times 8 occurs 1 time so we have the uh, number and its count now let's write the logic uh, to print the number which occurs odd time so I say for number number count map dot entry set and here map dot entry ks integer so this is the way to traverse a map so now if I say if this one is number map if I say number map dot get value so value is uh, nothing but its count if I say if it's odd I mean it's not if I divide the uh, count by 2 if its remainder is not equal to 0 then it's uh, it's a uh, odd uh, uh, this number occur odd number of times so I say system dot out dot print again so I print its key which is number and I break the loop as we have only one number which occur odd number of times if I run this code see we get the output 8 now if we have to verify let's repeat 8 one more times and now uh, the previous count of 4 was uh, 4 but now we have only 3 
occurrence of force so now it's an odd so this time our output should be 4 so let's see so this is the second approach it is much better than our previous approach where we have used two for loops so now uh, let's move to another approach uh, which is the best if you find uh, the number which occurs or number of times in an array so if I remove this and say so if I say if I do the bitwise ZOR so how bitwise ZOR works so ZOR of two element is zero if both the element are same and ZOR of a number so if I say the number which occur odd number of times I mean we get zero but the number which occur uh, sorry the number which occur even number of times if you do the bitwise ZOR then uh, the uh, result of our output is zero but one number which occur odd number of times we get uh, uh, the value uh, uh, we get the output of a of that number which occurs odd number of times so if I say if I traverse this number uh, array and let's say I declare one variable print result initialize it to zero if I say I'm doing the bitwise ZOR with array elements then if I say system dot out dot print length and result so, so see the four the number which ha has occurred or number of times remains otherwise everything is scales so three occurs two times so if we do the bitwise or the resultant output is zero similarly the resultant output is zero so the number which occur odd number of times uh, is cancelled out and only the number remains is the odd one so I hope you have understood uh, each approach and and I am sure you have liked uh, this video uh, so if you if you like this video then subscribe our uh, channel for more such video tutorials or you can visit our website which is webrewrite.com um, thanks for watching this video